Thank you for watching, and kindly consider hitting the subscribe button for more updates on important and powerful voices shaping the future Africa. Being here in the country of the upright man is a dream come true. To President Traore, the reincarnation of, Co of Thomas Sankara President Traore, who has led the struggle to complete the unfinished business that was started by our ancestors and our Pan-African leaders in 1963 when they created the Organization of African Unity. During that meeting, they demanded the creation of an Africa that spoke with one voice, an Africa that was united that journey is yet to be finished. What is happening in Burkina Faso, in Mali, in Niger, is just the beginning of a revolution that is way past due for Africa. <laughs> Africa must unite. And Burkina Faso has shown us the way. They have opened the doors. They have shown us that the bully can be defeated. <laughs> that no more shall we continue to give up our lunch. That we too need to eat. And therefore, there is no negotiating with the bully. The bully had to go, and Burkina Faso showed us how to do it. <laughs> so, Mr. President, I bring you your children, descendants of the formerly enslaved, they have waited over 400 years to return the spirits of their ancestors back home to Africa. When the children of Africa were taken out of Africa as slaves, all they ever wanted to do was to come back home to Africa. Each and every one of them that you see, many of them are coming to Africa for the first time. They are bringing with them the spirits of their ancestors, to put them to rest here in Burkina Faso. And that's one mission number one. Mission number two, we have watched you, Mr. President. You stand for everything that we have hoped for in an African man. Courageous, fearless, and in their faces. France, unapologetically, you told France, pack your bags and go home. You, Mr. President, so we are here. Our third mission is to see what can we do, Mr. President, to play our part in building the Burkina Faso we want. Thank you for watching, and kindly consider hitting the subscribe button for more updates on important and powerful voices shaping the future Africa. I am very touched and happy to see here in Burkina Faso since the National Culture Week. 
It is more than a pleasure that you have decided to come here in Burkina Faso. For sure, you have been told that it is an evil country. You have been told that it, there is death and war, only negative things. Burkina Faso is painted black. It, here it is blood spilling weapons. This is what he said abroad. Thank God you arrived without any trouble. You went in Bobo Live with us our culture. What links us as African? You met other nationalities who came to celebrate with us. Thank God everything went good. You are now in Wagadougou and I hope that you have been well welcome, well accommodated and you can share good moments with your brothers here. You are sending an important message and now you will be the ambassadors of this message when you will go back. Burkina Faso is not an evil country. We live comfortably in Burkina Faso. What they want people to understand, it is not Burkina Faso reality. It is what they depict to prevent people from coming in Burkina Faso. And the whole Africa is depicted the same way. For them, Africa is misery. Africa is starvation. Africa is a war. But who is responsible for these wars? We need to get united, but they made everything to divide us in order to govern. We have been enslaved, our ancestors lived it, and up to today we still have the consequences of in our bones, but they still continue. Our grandparents were deported, tortured, and moreover, when they had their wars, we fought for them. But we have been paid in monopoly money. Others have been killed when they tried to revolt. Many of them died in their villages in the war after mouth. The African labor has never been recognized. Our mission is first to awake Africa. And who more than you from diaspora can make understand what is Africa? When I see you united in this institute, I am prouder because it is just what we ask for. Today our fight is to get united because when we are united, we are stronger. Divided, you are weak. They work to divide. Us. I encourage you to send the message so Africa will get united. We have a lack or bad luck to experience war for some years. And it is the time to say stop. We are fed up. We took our responsibilities and we realize today more than ever that we make the right choice. Their armies were settled here, but they never been able. They have never been able to watch over our territory, to see terrorists coming here, killing our population and going back, despite our, all their means. When we asked them to go, today we acquired many means that allowed us to wait wage our war and we pay with threat to hold back. We have been able to equip our defense forces and reconstruct our army. They do not appreciate it for sure. They will find our strategies. But we are here and we shall resist. Thank to you. You are far but support us. We shall always stand up because African people is resilient. We suffer too much. The first thing you can do for Africa is to send a positive message. Enough spoliation, enough dead people. It is time to get united and work. We just want to live, to live with dignity, to live free. Share the message to awake awareness. Some head of states still want to lie to their people and still spoil their country for Western countries. This must stop. Who more than you can send this message to all people? Africa must awake. Young people shall awake and no longer accept this policy continue. It is not po possible.
Africa is still virgin. Everything is to be done in Africa. Look at how our cities are. We can also develop our health education system. We can develop anything. We can see in this rich diaspora that we are we have all specialities. Today in Burkina Faso, we are planning to build a polytechnical university only for the training of engineers. And you will be welcome to come and teach your younger brothers. If you don't train young people to produce and process locally, we shall remain slaves. Sovereignty is a whole. We are fighting for food self-sufficiency. Those who can invest in agro-food industry to process our products here, you are welcomed. We produce everything here. Everything can be grown in our grounds, can be grown in our ground. Experience every culture here in Burkina Faso. Those who want to invest in agriculture, those who want to invest in processing, you are welcome. For education, we plan to change the school system. The formatting we are expressing starts from school. They format it as so that many high educated people cannot think by themselves apart from what they set it up. Thank God awareness is being raised and we need more, we need to change our education system. So you are welcome. There are many other domains. They were spoiling our wealth. Today we are taking back the control and we shall never let our wealth spoiled because we want to live, we want to see our children cared, educated, grown up in peace and in a good environment. So we are open and you will be welcomed in Africa to develop your continent, to unite, to unite your continent and share the message of this unity. It is very important. Keep sharing the message to raise young people awareness that they stop being manipulated by leaders to be slaves for others. It shall not be allowed. There are some countries today where we want to send messages, but I think your voices are louder because you are the ambassadors everywhere you are. In America, in Europe, in Caribbean, you are ambassadors. When you speak, it can raise awareness. I urge you to speak to awake, to awake consciousness. It's the first mission I give you. I wish you a good stay. May God be with you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And kindly consider hitting the subscribe button for more updates on important and powerful voices shaping the future Africa.